The work starts now. Let's go! Let's go! Come on, Josh! Come on, Josh! Come on, Josh! Right down the camera. Of course, the Jeffy ran. Good, and you? Yes! The work starts now. Oh, back to it. Mm -hmm. Are we good? Yeah. All of you? Yeah? Ready to go again? Yeah. It's great to be back um, in pre-season. Now the hard work starts. A lot of energy and smiles, but they need to put a lot of effort into it. The first ten, ten days from uh, from Thursday to the Borough Hamwood uh, game is a big focus on the physical side of it. We do everything integrated into the into the sessions with the with the ball. So so tactical work in with the ball, having a fitness uh, approach. So we really really try to to push him that area. Second area would be the defensive side of the game. So build that foundation from uh, just from the beginning. So it's all the small drills. Well, it'll be everything from where they need to have the mentality of blocking a shot to uh, the principle of, of pushing the, the back four or closing down a cross. So all the small detail blended into to the, to the big game. The first day of preseason, um, I had a meeting where we you know, set not the, not the targets, but a little bit um, direction in um, what we want to do uh, for, for, for this season and what we want to really want to work on in the preseason. And again, it's our foundation, so the defensive side of the game, how we do that, high, middle, low uh, pressure and defending, is the set pieces, um, how we work on that off diff. Uh, it's the fitness, which is key, and we want to be a top, top fit team um, in this division. And then further down the line, we will be working more and more on some offensive details um, in the game. All the international guys will come uh, back here on Wednesday. We're looking forward to, to see them after they have a, a well-deserved break as well, but it'll be nice to, to have the group together. The expectations I have for the players for this preseason is, like always, they need to focus only about performance, put a lot of hard work in where they show that top attitude and we merge that into the togetherness of the team. Can we do that together with all the tactical bits? Then we'll be in a top place before we um, start the season. Uh, today's 1K day, so 1K we do as a measure of aerobic fitness for the players. Obviously all coming back in off the off-season, they've been working hard, so we're expecting them in good shape. Uh, basically, 10 lengths of the pitch, uh, 100 metres of length, we're looking for a decent time. Under 3.15 is a good time, but we've got quite a few lads who will probably go under that today. Who's going to win the 1K? Yeah. Numbers-wise, Rico Hill. From the third or fourth day is normally straight to 1K test. I think everyone can't sleep. The day before, everyone has in his mind, we have to reach the time. We have to run uh, one kilometer, so 1,000 meter, from goal line to goal line, around the pole. I think this is the hardest way. So basically, if you run just one kilometer, is of course as hard, as fast as you can. But to go 10 times around the pole is just an annoying part of this game. You have to stop again, go around the pole again. And this 10 times is yeah, the hardest part in this game. The staff members trust so much the players. Day three after the one caters, I think everyone can see how many the players do in the off season. I think this year is a bit tougher than last year. Of course, last year everything was new, like Premier League. Everyone was excited. Um, this year is like okay, we know how tough is it to be in the Premier League. So of course, every year we have an aim. Every year we have a goal. So now we try, of course, to keep keep the level a bit higher. Try to push a bit more in every runs and every action, death off. 
So I think yeah, we've done a bit more this year than last year. The early days are really important to us, not necessarily from a physical perspective. We, we work our players consistently through the year, but they're important for us to get an idea of where they are, uh, a snapshot of how they come back, and also to start our team building, to start getting together, to start forming a game plan. That's probably the biggest thing. We'll test our players on the first couple of days, but we'll also get them on the grass as soon as possible. One of our key principles is to, is to be consistent with our training. So although we'll push them really hard this pre-season, they won't necessarily have a huge spike in their, in their gym loads or their running loads. We'll ramp them up appropriately and then uh, work them hard, but at the right times. So nowadays, play, players come back ready to play. They, they all come back extremely fit. For us, pre-season isn't about getting fit. You don't, you don't turn up and use the first few weeks to, to get ready for match fitness. We, we expect everyone to be ready to pretty much go as soon as they come back. We're looking uh, from a performance and medical point of view just um, to make sure there's no big red flags, that everyone's healthy and good to go straight into their training. And then from that, it's just improving them technically and tactically and putting a game plan together. Good train around. Speed up. Good train around. Speed up. Good. Keep going. Yes. Thomas, welcome to Brentford, mate. We're here in sunny Germany at this beautiful hotel. So I thought, what better way to get to know you than jumping in a golf buggy and going for a little drive? Should we do it? Yeah, for sure. 